In this video, I want to talk to you about overridden grades in the gradebook. Overridden grades can have a, a big impact on a student's grade, and so I just want to make you aware of those and show you how to identify overridden grades in the gradebook as well as fix the problem. So if you look at my screen, I've got, uh, I've got my gradebook open, and you'll notice uh, my list of students, and here, I've got editing off in the gradebook, and you'll see that this uh, grade item for this student is kind of a, a yellow brownish color, and so that that lets you know that this grade is overridden. So I'm just going to also scroll over and show you something else. Here, in the exams category, there is a manual grade item called Exam One. And you'll notice that student test uh, made a 75 on that. But if you'll notice, the exam's total says that it's 100%. And so, and you can see that same color that lets you know that this grade is overridden. And so, this grades, uh, so exams in this class, I believe I set it up to be 40% of the student's grade. And so, 40% of the student's grade should be a 75, because that should be the exam average. They've only had one exam. But instead, it's it's calculated as a hundred, and so that is a significant difference in the grade. And I'm going to show you that in the grade book. So first of all, I'm going to uh, show you how to fix this. So I, in order to fix an overridden grade, you have to turn editing on, and then so you'll notice the the uh, the yellowish brown color is still there, and so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click this edit grade. And then right here, you see it, there's a, an overridden option under item name. And so I'm just going to untick that and hit save changes. And you get a recalculating screen. And now that grade is cleared. And uh, what this means is now that there won't be a grade for that item until I actually go in and, and grade that assignment. And so that overridden grade is now gone. Now I'm going to go over here and show you um, I'm going to go I'm going to turn this off and just show you what kind of difference this can make. So right now this student student test again has a hundred uh, this is an error but I'm going to show you their grade. Uh, right now they have a hundred in the class and uh, they don't have any other grade items, so obviously this is going to go down to a 75. Um, this is a kind of a, a very simple example, but I'm going to show you, again, we're going to follow the same process to fix this. Turn editing on, scroll over, and here's the exam's total. So what I'm going to do is, is tick this, untick this overridden, and save changes. And then now we're going to scroll over, and you'll see that uh, the student's grade is now 75. Of course, it's exam's total is looking at the average, the simple weighted mean of, of every exam. There's only one exam. The student made a 75, therefore they have a 75 for their exam average. And therefore, their course total is now 75 instead of 100. So that was a 25-point difference because of, a, of, an over, of an overridden grade. So this has just been a simple video uh, just to show you how to identify overridden grades in the gradebook and how to fix overridden grades in the gradebook.